Hello and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Carmsden Farm. Right, so it's now March and uh, I've got a bit of a disclaimer to make. I've been recording for about an hour and a half and I have I press record and all that kind of stuff but what happened was it actually recorded my second monitor. So even though I was talking and it was actually picking up the game sound it didn't pick up any of the video content. So for about an hour, I'd say at least of gameplay, I have just completely lost so I'm gonna have to give you a bit of a recap of what was supposed to have been on this video and then what's now gonna be on it instead so let's fly up and I'll give you a bit of a recap so what I've done is them three fields I did uh, a course plate on them three with the, the sprayer so you can probably just make out the John Deere down there with the sprayer sprayed that um, they're all fully fertilized that was gonna be part of a montage I actually got some clips for that I also decided because this field had been mowed, it was the best time to get some lime on the ground. So I leased out a lime spreader and started doing that. I was manually doing that. So I'm not finished, obviously, as you can tell, still continuing from that. But obviously, when I figured out we had an issue, I, uh, yeah, stopped and got to carry that on. Uh, another thing that I've been doing as well, I leased out a stone picker because this field here used to have the pigs uh, enclosure in. So it was like the, the houses, little pens and, and so on, the trough. Deleted that out, um, sold that for a bit of cash. And then this field, I ploughed, well, I actually bought a spader. And this was before the episode. I, I leased out a spader. Um, and this field would just add loads of stones in. And the aim of this video was going to be to obviously uh, use course plate, bit of a montage of that picking up stones. And then I've leased out a tiny little cedar. Uh, and the, the Ford's going around with the cedar planted in some grass seeds so uh, you can probably tell that he's done quite a bit he's got um he's missed a, a gap so he's on, he's done his first pass he's going on his second pass now to finish off and then he's got his headlands to do um, another thing that i did as well <laughs> there was quite a bit i decided that we didn't own this field um but we own this one here and this had the horse um housing on so they had it had the horse barn on and i sold that for about 40 odd thousand bought this field here so now this is our land as well um, and what I'm going to be doing in between this episode and the next is knocking down this fence making this one big grass field I'm going to be doing the exact same thing so we're going to probably plough it some way um, get it cultivated at the same time spades are really good for that um, and then we're going to plant uh, some uh, grass seeds in uh, and then another thing I did as well there's more I went down this bit here chopped down a few trees I even sold them right at the start of the video for about four thousand pound um, and put in this as you can see which is like a, a new entrance to the grass field um, and then another thing i did down there there's another tree that I chopped down um, some bits still need to be collected now these fields here what the aim is to obviously take care of them with the cows being what they are now they are consuming a hell of a lot of food i've uh, got a trough that fills up for about a hundred uh, thousand liters and um, we're trying to give them hay uh, and with the, the sheep that I'm going to get eventually very soon and the cows using their pasture technically all I had was field of four and the grass field over here uh, the hidden one so what I decided to do was get a better way of taking care of my grass fields hence why I'm going to combine this into one hence why I'm doing field 35 over there uh, so what's going to happen is I'm going to have one, two, this one here, three and then four grass fields to go forward and obviously make silage when needed and hay when needed so hay is obviously the priority right now. It is in March after all, and we're getting to that point when we're going to be able to do some mowing. Now, when it comes to spreading lime, this field I can't do that on yet because it's past um, the, the stage where I can do that. So it's obviously, it's like stage two. I think it says grow stage three, but it's definitely not. It's not to head. So we need this probably back down to, as soon as we've mowed it, basically what we can do is spread some lime on that field. Now I have, like I said, leased out a lime spreader. So hopefully the grass will grow within the next month, maybe April time. We can mow that down. Uh, this one over here won't be ready because it's currently at still mowed. Um, it's well still harvested state, so it's not grown at all. Um, so we're going to be doing that as well. But this is a good time to spread lime on this field and this field. We also need to get this rolled up as well. So we're going to be rolling it straight after the cedar um, has done his job. And then after that, we'll, we'll carry on with the lime as well. Um, and then what we're going to have is two fields all ready and done and we can start doing some slurry on them eventually when needed um, I think they're at one stage fertilisation both of these fields obviously this one's got a lot of work to go because we need to set it all up and everything um, but then this one over here all we need to do is just wait for it to be have its first cut and then we can apply lime 
So that's a quick recap of what happened. Now, I guarantee it was much better than that. Um, there was a really good montage of uh, the uh, stone picker going at it. Um, we've been down to the shop and we've leased out this and got some seeds. Um, we even had a little bit of a montage of that going up to get some lime. And yeah, stone picker, like I said, cedar. Um, also the guy doing the spraying. So yeah, it's, it's been pretty crazy. I mean, it's a shame, but... I don't know why that happened. I really don't. So anyway, I've got a course on here. Let's just carry on. Nearest waypoint. Job done. And he can carry on. So he's, like I said, he's got quite a bit still left to do. Um, I feel like a rape melon. I absolutely feel like a melon for, for not having that on footage, you know? Um, but I know it's working this time. So that's the main thing. So let's jump into this and we're going to carry on. Crack on with this. I don't need that, don't need that. And yeah, we'll get this finished off. So my intention now is obviously with the video being a different stage. Uh, I'm probably gonna try and get this field obviously all sorted out with the lime and, and we'll get that other field over there fully planted and rolled. Uh, probably do a bit of a montage on the roller as well. And then I might bypass a bit of time now. So we might get a first cut on the grass field, um, the hidden one. Obviously, I need to jump out the game again and go into the Giants editor if I want to uh, modify the field itself over there with the, the fence, but we could at least tackle it in the next episode at the start. But we might be able to get a first cut anyway from the other field in this episode. Um, priority is hay. It really is. Cows are consuming it like mad, and yeah, we want to try and get this a really good dairy farm we also want to get quite a bit of sheep as well on the farm, and then and, and they like hay, don't they? So it makes sense to have more hay than silage. And the, I mean, we can still do silage because silage is really good money. But I think silage needs to be, as a priority, something that we sell, um, and obviously need for TMR when it comes to the cows producing milk, which we're way off anyway. So we don't need to worry too much about silage. Still got this silage bale bale over here in the field. It's now becoming a part of the field. I think grass is actually growing above it. So we need to take that out at some point. I mean, if the sheep took silage like they used to do, I'd literally just throw it in their feed, but they don't. And that's why I'm looking forward to Maze Plus, where we can customise what the animals have. Um, we can just give them anything then, really. Then we can make our own custom TMR mix, which I think is a massive, massive improvement on the game, Mace Plus. It really does improve it. Takes it to the next level. Did on FS19 and I'm sure it's going to do the absolute same when it comes to... Uh, I don't want to get in his way here. Yeah, when it comes to FS22 it'll do the exact same and I'm sure there'll be even more improvements as well. So, I did buy some extra seeds. They are currently in the, the truck. So if we just sit about here, we're not in the way then. Um, but what I'm going to do now quickly is I'm going to just pot this up actually and then go get the roller because that's going to be the next job right so let's go and grab the roller I think you might actually be blocking in maybe yeah we can get that that's not too bad now I did have to buy quite a bit of uh, liquid fertilizer I think I had about two and a half thousand litres in the uh, tanks over there. We used all that and had to buy a further two thousand litres. But we did get all three fields done to them and now completely taken care of. We don't have to do anything else until harvest time. And then we're going to be doing, obviously, harvesting for grain and also a bit of straw as well. We've still got plenty of straw. I think we've got enough to last us for the next harvest as well. So we might just sell the whole of the straw we generate because we need to start getting some serious cash in. I do need to get a slurry spreader as well. That's going to happen at some point. Because we can tackle that now that we're starting to produce. Uh, if I quickly just show you the animals as well, so you can get a bit of an update on that. I think it was January the last time. So, TMR, they've obviously got just a bit from the first mix that I put in the last episode. That's not really uh, an issue at all. The hay, though... Uh, that's at 82,000, so that's obviously going to go down slowly on its own, uh, and then they're going to start consuming the hay, which is fine, because 
at least they get a bit of a boost right now from TMR. It's a bit of a waste, to be honest, because they'll still get 100% health with hate. Um, and straw, they've got plenty of. They're not really using that too much. I have put in a place for um, manure heap, so uh, that's all done. So we are generating manure as well at the same time as slurry. Uh, but like I said, they're only two months old. Uh, and they're quite a way off to reproducing yet as well. Uh, but hopefully we should get at least double. That's 120. Um, before you know it, that, that uh, animal pen will be maxed out. Um, and then we can say we're a full dairy farm. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as a course, but I'm just going to get it ready now. So we're going to go to active workers, create job, course play field work. We'll start this over here. That's fine there. Field position, bang it in the middle. Doesn't really matter. I imagine that's right, but we will find out. Number of headlands, we definitely don't want two. Uh, four, sorry, we want two. We're going to start work on the centre. Of some smooth corners will overlap from about 20%. I mean, 25 was a bit steep, but 20, 20 is still quite high, but should be fine. And we'll, we'll, we will skip a row because it's uh, probably easier for it. No bow bypass, and the field margin is now at zero. So we'll generate that course and we'll keep that as a bit of a strange one, isn't it? It's not the best looking course in the world. Or if we don't skip a row, that looks a bit better. Yeah, let's keep it like that. So that can just be a temporary course. We shouldn't be doing it too much. So we can jump back out now and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll save a bit of fuel. Um, but what I will do is go back into vehicle settings and just put start and stop. Save the game. Job done. So yeah, he's gonna crack on with that. I mean, I do wanna see how many seeds he's got left in here. 561, so he's at 56%. We, we give him a, a pallet, which was a 1,000 litres. Um, and he's got a 1,000 left in there, so he's got plenty. He really has. It's a shame we can't start on this field. I mean, we could always get a spader and just do this side of it, but then I think it's probably better for me to set the actual field boundary. It really is. So I think this is a perfect time for me to give a bit of a shout-out here. Um, from my Discord um, server... I just want to give a shout out to Warfiend, who has been doing an excellent job at doing his own little farm blog in there. So if you're interested in reading a bit of a roleplay, so it's a bit of a story of him explaining his save game, his playthrough. There are some really good and interesting uh, uh, sections to it, so I definitely recommend going in there if you haven't been and, and checked it out. But I do have to give Warfiend a massive shout out for his farm blog. A lot of time and effort has gone into it, uh, and a lot of people have uh, commented how, how good it is and how much they've enjoyed reading it. So really do thank you for that. Thanks for being such an active member. Uh, yeah, and making everyone's day with that. Really do appreciate it. Right, so what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to do a montage. It's obviously not going to be as good as the... Well, the montage, I can actually say it was the best montage in the world because no one will know because it doesn't exist. So all I'm going to do is get a quick montage of the uh, Ford going around with the Cedar. Uh, then we'll set the class up to use the roller. We'll get this field all sorted out. And then I think what we need to do then is put one layer of fertilizer on it. <laughs>
right, so welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed that montage. Um, this field is now all done. Field 35, all it needs is another layer of fertilizer, the same as the field over there with field 4. But I'm going to be doing that with slurry. I decided I'm just going to start focusing on doing some slurry um, on them fields. Um, or solid fertilizer, but I don't really want to be spraying fertilizer onto grass. Um, I don't really think that's uh, quite common in the UK, um, in all fairness. I know they do put fert down, solid fert. Uh, but it's usually a lot earlier um, but slurry should be good slurry or manure but we need a slurry spreader first and um, we'll focus on that before we focus on getting a muck spreader now I think I don't even know what's yep I'm just trying to figure out which one I've left on I've, left, I've definitely left this one on I think I've definitely left this one on there we go so Right now I've got quite a lot of leased equipment. Obviously I've got this, the stone picker, I've got the cedar, I've also got the uh, yep, the uh, uh, lime spreader and I've also got the trail on the back of that. Now I'm not going to get rid of this because I'm going to use it to get, collect the logs in the other field and I'm not going to get rid of this because we're going to need it for this combination when we do that. Um, and the same for the, uh, uh, the cedar and the stone picker. So what we need to do now is obviously either take this fence out and we can make this into a combined field and I think it might be a best bet to do that before I advance any time um, because then hopefully I can get this all done before we do our first cut on the field over there and uh, yeah before we do a first cut on the field over here now by doing that it just means that we can kind of a bit more in sync even though um, if we cut them all at the same time we can always bring them back in sync of all the fields ready at the same time so obviously this video is going to be a lot shorter than I originally intended it to be. Uh, but hopefully you've still enjoyed it. Um, the montage was there and we've got this field done. I've obviously given you a bit of a recap of what uh, we've done as well. So in the next episode, like I said, we'll be focusing entirely on this field here, getting all these grass fields ready. Um, and hopefully as well, we'll be doing some cuts, uh, first cuts on the fields as well. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Sorry that it's a little bit shorter than normal, like I said. Um, uh, but if you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one, Farming Simulator.